Now, a security consultative meeting of North Rift and Upper Eastern leaders has resolved that a parliament should fast track the legis legislation to make cattle rustling a capital offence. And as Patrick Amima reports, Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri says the chiefs who will allow footprints of stolen animals into their locations will be held responsible and locals forced to replace stolen livestock. Elected leaders drawn from Trukana, West Pokot, Baringo, Samburu, Laikipia, Isiolo and Marsabit counties that are prone to cattle rustling converge in Nairobi for a consultative security meeting on rampant insecurity in North Rift and Upper Eastern regions of Kenya. Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nikaiseri convened the meeting that brought together senators, members of the National Assembly and governors from the mainly personalist communities that inhabit the two regions. I'd like to applaud all my colleagues to who've come and who are committed that we will end this issue once and for all in 2015 and we are very committed. Leaders held three closed door sessions that lasted six hours due to what those privy to the meetings said was the complexity of the matters being discussed. The leaders were drawn from different personalist communities who have very long term suspicions against each other. The leaders agreed on the Bomber Declaration which resolved a raft of measures to deal with cattle rustling and promote peace and security. They resolved that Parliament should first track enactment of legislation to make cattle rustling a capital offence. The Cabinet Secretary for Interior was asked to enforce the law to deal with impunity by instilling punitive measures on communities that encourage cattle rustling. Mechanisms also been instituted to track stolen animals and ensure those responsible replace them and are held to account. The security law is not supposed to be popular. It is meant to secure the citizen and their property. If the footprints of cattle reach your location, you will be responsible. And that particular location, the leaders, the assistant chief, the chief, we will get the equal number of cattle from your location if you allow those cattle to disappear from your location. Other measures agreed on include return of government arms that had been taken by bandits, especially in Capedo and Baragoy attacks. Communities will be involved in disarmament process by creating modalities for comprehensive and simultaneous disarmament. A comprehensive livestock census and branding will also be undertaken. The government was eyed to resolve county boundaries disputes through harmonizing constituency and administration boundaries. It was also agreed that partnership between the national and county governments should be enhanced in the management of security in counties. However, previous disarmament exercises have been criticized by leaders, with some even calling for the withdrawal of the military that is involved in mopping up illegal firearms. Will the government get total support this time round? By their presence here and the resolution passed here, it's a decision which has been reached and everybody has agreed. The leaders agreed to have the National Cohesion and Integration Commission to monitor persons who incite communities to engage in conflicts and take appropriate action. Patrick Amimo, KTN.